Okay, question 18 from chapter 7. This is on page 196. Um, I'd like to show you how to use StatCrunch to do this exercise. So we have um, disk drives. We have the raw data right here, the capacities in terabytes, the price in, um, in uh, dollars. And it says we want to predict price from capacity. Anytime you ask to, you're asked to predict, that means least squares regression line. And the thing you're trying to predict, in this case price, is automatically the Y or the response variable. And then the thing you're using to predict, in this case capacity, is automatically the explanatory or the X right there. Now, um, you see the blue T, that means T for technology. That means the data is available on StatCrunch. So go to, um, you, you can go to your Canvas page, click My Lab, and then uh, you click StatCrunch, and then Data Stats from your textbook. And then just look for, uh, let's see, Chapter 7, Exercise 18, Disk Drives. Hold on. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. So here it is. Here's your capacities. Here's your prices. So uh, first of all, if you want to make a, um, a scatter plot, just click Graph. Um, scatter plot, and then your x variable is your capacity, your y variable is your price, and everything else is just extra options. You can just ignore all that and click compute, and there it is. There is your scatter plot. Um, you can see that as capacity increases, price increases. Okay, now um, if you want to get your least squares regression line, you click um, stat and then regression right there and then uh, you want to select simple linear and then your x variable is capacity y variable is price and then um everything else you can ignore just uh just click compute okay and, and here's the output now this is a little bit confusing they give you a lot of extra information that you don't um need um but here's your equation right here price is equal to negative 296.3 let's see if i can zoom in there we go okay um so negative 296.3 plus 142.2 times capacity and so if you want to write that out um just using letters that would be um uh, that would be y, put a hat on top of it, is equal to the intercept, which is negative 296.3. Uh, and then plus 142.2 times the x, which is the capacity. So that, that's how you can write out your equation if you prefer x's and y's. Um, now, also as an added bonus, they give you the correlation uh, coefficient 0.98 and um, R squared, which is just 0.9876 squared, 0.97. Um, and then also right here, they spell it out for you, the intercept of your least squares regression line, negative 296.3, which is given to you right there. The slope is 142.2, which is given to you right there. Okay, all the other stuff is, is for more advanced statistics, which um, we, we don't need an introductory statistics course. Um, and that's how you get your regression line.